Flag City family, what is up? Here's how awesome you guys are. We haven't even started yet, and my girl Jackie Haddam Spiegel hits us up with a, you are amazing, you are the best, you are my sunshine doll. $20 pair? Jackie, you're the best. My man D Brown is here. San Quentin, that means Rachel's in the house. Art's in the house. I'm in the house after being at Whole Foods for two and a half hours today filming videos by myself. It's time to make some food. The impossible happened today. What did Al Michaels say back in uh, the Winter Olympics? Do you believe in miracles? Yes! I cleaned the grill today. I did a quick job. I'll show you uh, outside. It was loaded, not with grease, it was loaded with like soot, like ash and stuff, but it sprayed all over me because I was scrubbing it with the brush, but it's clean, so we shouldn't have any brush fires anymore. Uh, tonight's dinner is going to be great. I'm going to use grass-fed Tasmanian beef to make uh, grilled kebabs with uh, lots of good Middle Eastern flavors. We'll make a little bit of tahini sauce like the other day. We'll make a dairy-free yogurt sauce, and we'll grill some peppers, we'll grill some uh, onions, and then warm some paleo siete tortillas as kind of like our pita or our wrap. 100% keto, minus the wrap, 100% paleo, including everything, and 100% delicious. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you can hear me okay, but also there's another man who has a microphone on. His name is... Arturo. Arturo, Uncle Farturo, not the uno, not the dos, the tres. Yes, we got <laughs> Art's in the house, all that good things. And please leave comments down below. Everything Erica is in the house too. Right? Everything Erica, my good friend and business partner, uh, is in the house. Uh, leave comments down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, we got AZ in the house. We got Area 51. My boy's always here. Milwaukee Brewer's good. Let me know we sound good. Um, also, what's really cool is that... Um, the other day when I was giving these guys a shout out on Instagram stories, they saw and they wanted to sponsor this live stream. So these guys make what I consider one of the best tahinis on the market. Tahini should be runny, loose and pourable. And you'll see this is very loose and pourable. It's one ingredient, just organic sesame seeds sourced from Ethiopia, which is the highest quality sesame seeds in the land. And when I was in Israel, with uh, Desi a year and a half ago, we learned all about tahini. This is the real deal. We'll talk more about them later on. You can get it at Walmart. They have it there, or it's on Amazon. They have a fantastic price on a two-pack. Uh, click the Amazon link down below. Great keto paleo condiment for making all kinds of sauces. Really good stuff. So let's get rocking and rolling. We got to make the kebab meat. So in here, I have four grass-fed, those Tasmanian ground burger patties from the Flav City fan who started that company from Tasmania, most pristine ecosystem in the world. Then we just gotta season it up. I have my real deal kebab or shish skewers here. These are metal. You don't wanna mess around that. We're gonna form it around there, right? We'll just get like a little bit of a ghost moment. Des is gonna come behind me. We're gonna mold the beef on the skewer. <laughs> Then we'll go outside and we'll grill them up. We'll make that tahini sauce. We'll have a good old time. Uh, Art, why don't you go selfie style and say hello? Hello. <laughs> All right, back to you, Bobby. That works. Let's crowdsource some ideas to make the kebabs very Middle Eastern. So I'm thinking I will grate some onions in there. Obviously, salt and pepper. Grate some garlic in there. What kind of spices should we put? How about, come over here, Art. How about a little bit of a, whoa, a little bit of turmeric. A little bit of smoked paps, a little bit of, what else? Cumin, that'd be That's nice. man just said. Cumin. cumin, yeah, you gotta do cumin, right? You ain't cool unless you're using cumin. Uh, let's get a little funky monkey though. Let's put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Kind of like a Moroccan vibe. Let's put a little bit of cloves in there. Paris wants some ginger. Yes, let's do it, Paris. Paris, Illinois. Let's uh, see. Paris, Shangro. Anyone see ginger here? There should be gingy. Ginger, where are, I'll probably back here. There we go. Brisbane, gingy. Australia is in the house. Oh, Allison, I want to go there next time. By the way, these guys make the most delicious taco seasoning mix. I was using it for a couple of cookbook recipes. Amazing ingredients compared to the norm. Uh, so let's start there. I think that's a good place to start. And then I have, let's put some herbaceousness in there, some dried thyme. Did you say pepper? Did I say what? Did you say pepper? Of course, Suzanne. the most popular spice in the world, Suzanne. You know it. And Sherry Kennedy, you dollar ninety-nine. Oh, sumac. Put in sumac! I have sumac. I got to come to my secondary pantry. Sumac, Daddy. This is the pantry formerly known as the coat closet. Now it's the backup pantry. 
And yes, what's up, Barbara? Well, first of all, I have a redonkadonk donk amount of Lily's chocolate chips here because <laughs> we used them for the cookbook and they were nice enough to send me some uh, vouchers. Sumac. I'm going to use sumac not just in there. I'm going to use it also, check it out, Art, to garnish the end with. So sumac is a Mediterranean uh, bush bud that's dried. And it's so darn tasty and very, very Middle Eastern. And you know, when you look at me, I'm the picture of Middle Eastern, right? You look at me like, wow, this guy's straight out of like Morocco, right? <laughs> Actually, Middle Eastern flavors are some of my most popular, or one of my most favorite flavors out there. So let's saison with a oh, nice, ben, ben. healthy pinch of salt, because beef loves steak, right, Art? Absolutely. A little bit of peppy. Viviana's oh. in the house. Viviana, the, the Instagram curator. Nice, in the house. Check it out. Desi was recipe testing today a um, five ingredient apple crumble or apple crisp made with organic oats, um, really good um, apples and nuts and almond flour. She's not there yet. It's a little dry. She's going to up the butter, but it's getting there. It looks really, really good. And Michael P. Just gave you a $9.99 super chat. Mikey! Do you find it odd that milk bottles now say natural vanilla flavor derived from vanilla beans? Didn't it used to just say extract or just vanilla bean? Just got six bottles delivered. Eagle Eye, Michael. Yeah, that's why, Mike, um, when I buy it, I don't buy the vanilla anymore. I just get the unsweetened one. I got to email them because I find it hard to believe they're using natural flavors. They might be abiding by some weird laws, but my guess is they're using... Uh, they're using real natural uh, vanilla. A little bit of S, my boys from Elgin. Gia Rodriguez, $14.99. I can't wait for the new book. Hello, Art Bobby. Where's Rosita? Saludos from New York. Thank you, Rosita. Just walked by. <laughs> she walked by with Desi. She was taking a nap, and then Desi tried to sneak in her room and put something away, and boom, she woke her up. Hi, Rosie. Hi, sweetie. She'll be on camera in a second. Uh, Wally Sofa just gave you $2 and says, Baharat. Oh, baharat? Yeah, what is baharat again? I remember that. Do you remember from the Middle East? Baharat. I think it's a spice. Baharat means spice rub. So this is a baharat. I learned that at the spice market in uh, Tel Aviv. Gia, by the way, thank you for that uh, super chat. So check this out. Get your nose in there, Wally and Gia and Stangman. Smoke paprika. It's a red pepper that's been smoked. Smell it. And then dried. And it's so darn tasty. Jackie had on Spiegel, $20 again. Desi, is the blueberry panna cotta in the cookbook? Yes. Hex, yeah it is. And I believe we still have one. Oh, it might have been eaten today. Oh, here it is. Look, it's a paleo blueberry panna cotta that is to die for. To die for, you have this with a cup of coffee, forget about it. Look at that, y'all. Right? Oh yeah, look at the color. In living color, that's real. It's been sitting for two days. It's been oh. sitting for two days. Guess what I think about that? Mm. By the way, oh! Nada <laughs> that's just great. Nada just confirmed that yes, it means spices. Thank you. Pretty good for a gringo from Chicago, huh? Chandra, what's going on? Uh, breathing Nerdum just gave you five dollars. Happy early fourth, you guys. Question: Thank you. I'm trying to determine what cooking oil should I be currently using, either grapeseed or avocado. Which do you prefer? Great question. Nice to see you again. Uh, We'll be doing a great 4th of July tomorrow. I think about steaks and everything. We'll be grilling and chilling. Um, Grapeseed oil, kick it out. It's not high quality. It's expeller pressed at best. Avocado oil is where it's at. You really don't want to have expeller pressed uh, grapeseed oil. I should say, if you're going to have grapeseed oil, have it expeller pressed. Still not that good for you. So let's put all these spices in here. I put the cloves in there, the sumac. Let's Captain put the cumin on. Why not use lard? Lad, to cook these or what? I don't know. Well, the, the whole question of grapeseed versus avocado. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, bro, I feel you, bro. I don't know if he necessarily put the Bostonian New England accent under that. How about did, this? How, well, why stop there? Why not do pasture raised chicken fat, homie? Why not do pasture raised beef tallow, homie? Or just like you said originally, lad, huh? A little bit of lad, cause you're from Boston. I, I would think it'd be funny if la came out with la. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all about using either the best quality plant oils, which is not soybean, grapeseed, uh, canola, safflower, soybean, all that stuff. It's all about avocado or olive oil. 
pasture-raised, wild-caught lard and animal fats, or grass-fed ghee. That's it, Holmes. Okay, a little bit of Tim goes in yonder. Hey, Rose, do you want to say hi to everyone? Let's show Rose right over there. Hi, Rose, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> you woke up early from your nap, huh? You want to wave hi? <laughs> Uh, hi everyone. You knew what was happening out here, I think, Rose. And you're like, Daddy ain't doing no live stream without his sous chef, right? That's what you said. <laughs> okay. Ooh, as soon as you open that cinnamon, it's delicious. So all the spices are in. But I want to grate some garlic and some gingy in there. All right, guys, if you're just joining, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from today. Once again, today's video is sponsored by the Tahini Company, Mighty Sesame Co., because they saw me use it on Instagram last week. Awesome stuff. We'll make a tahini sauce out of that. And you can get uh, the tahini with my Amazon link down below. You just got a super chat from Sandy Pandy. Gave you a five Canadian dollars. Hi from Canada. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. What's the word, Rose Hunnith Bunneth? Well, for next event. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Want to come next to Daddy Rose? That way everyone can see you. I think it's time to pour some keto wine, too. It's late in the day. It's a holiday weekend. A little bit of keto. Hey! There's no beach Not watching. for you, silly billimus. Hey! Uh, Can I give her some blueberries or something? Phoenix. Or some strawberries, maybe, too. The Philippines in the house. Welcome. Nice Philippines! I love me some peely nuts. Friendswood, Texas. There we go, Welcome. Rose. Hunneth Bunny. Susan Cordour. I'm going to give her the strawberry in the meantime. Here you go, Rose. Here you go, a little, little, str little strawberry. No strawberry? Really? <laughs> you silly billimus. Okay, so how about some blueberries? I've never known you to not eat blueberries. Hmm? Okay. First, can we wave to everyone? Hi, everyone. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. There's a question, actually. I see a question coming through from, uh, from Renee. Rose, where are your hands? That's your hand. That's right. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Renee, for that question. That was very sweet, sweet of you. Okay. Blueberries. You going to say no to those? Never. Yeah, that's good stuff, Mom Orsh. Okay. You ever notice how cool the inside of a blueberry is? It's very weird. It's very weird. It's very, very cool, though. Most people just bite into it and don't notice. Okay. Back to the USSR. Back to the US. Uh, I want to grate a little bit of garlic in there. You can leave the garlic in the peel, y'all, and just break out your microplaner. Trish. One of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Trish, Rose wants to know, where's your hair? <laughs> Trish is asking, where's your hair, Rose? Rose, did you hear that question? Where's your hair? Exactly, yeah. Trish. Good question. These are hard-hitting questions, the likes of which you'd see on the campaign trail, to be honest, Rose. So you're really crushing, crushing it. Uh-uh. It's nice because the garlic comes through grated. You're not going to bite into a big hunk of it. More, says Rosa. Not with garlic fingers, Rose. You don't want Daddy touching that with garlic fingers. I can promise you that. Here you go. Well, it could be kind of sweet and savory, right? There you go, my love. What happened to the keto margarita? It's launching tomorrow morning. Thank you for asking. I just put the final touches on it. See, when I make a uh, recipe video, it's actually a lot more work than a haul video because after the video is done, I got to build a blog post for it, which takes a good 30 or 40 minutes. Then Dusty has to edit the photos, make a Pinterest photo, make a thumbnail photo. Um, but I'll have it out tomorrow. And then a little bit of red onion. Welcome, Dorinda. Little bit of onion. And then I got to pour myself some keto wine. I got the keto wine promo link in the description box. That yummy, yummy, sugar free wine. Pismo got the flavor flavor. I wonder if I can grate this with uh, the microplaner or is it going to be too fine? What do you think? Right. We'll find out. We will find out. Uh, C. Guzman says, Am I too late for that giveaway? Um, no, the giveaway is lasting uh, right now. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I'll tell you in a second what C is talking about. Actually, no, it's not going to work when I cut it like that. Cut it out. Yeah, I got to do this. Let's... I'm doing a tahini giveaway on Instagram. So go to my Instagram stories right now. These guys wanted to give away uh, like 
10 people get two bottles each of tahini. So go check it out from Mighty Sesame Co. I feel like a lot of people don't know about sesame, but it's such a great keto paleo condiment that's made with just really good uh, sesame seeds. I like on the ingredients how it says how the sesame seeds are peeled. Does it say that? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is gonna work nice. Look I've at never this. seen peeled, unpeeled. Well, I don't know actually. Oh, actually you have. Um, because most tahini is made with peeled, but I agree. I've never seen myself. I've never peeled any of us. No, I don't think you and I would be able to do that. Because I have sesame oh, seeds. I could if I wanted to. I would. I, you I could. You think you're better than me? It's like Kramer building levels. He just chose not to. I choose not to peel them. <laughs> but I could. Very slow. I probably should have used a box grater. I'm going to use a box grater, but I have to give Rose some more blueberries. Yeah, they actually, uh, Africa has some of the best. Uh, Ethiopia, to be exact. Ethiopia right? has the best sesame seeds. They roast them, they peel them. There's a variety with the hull still on. And uh, the flavor is unbelievable. If you're from the Middle East, you know all about it. We don't know as much about it in the U.S. because we're not into tahini as much as we should. Do you eat edamame? Uh, I don't. We don't really eat too much soy at home. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Then I'm going to form them on the skewers. And then we'll just uh, go outside and grill them. Sonali says that cilantro would be good. Yes, it would be. I, I don't have any, but I do have parsley. Let's just throw some parsley Let's in make there. make Hilda happy. Yeah, make Hilda happy, right? What you're reaching for? Oh, careful. Sorry, my love. Mwah! Alaska is watching. Welcome. Alaska's in the house. How's the weather in Alaska right now? I guess it depends where in Alaska. True. It's quite the big uh, state from what I understand. Yeah. Okay. Chop a little bit of parsley and throw that in. Oh, you know what link I didn't put down below? I wonder if I can do that now. Um, I re remember on the community tab yesterday, I put the link to sign up for the pre-sale list for uh, my immune tea that's coming out in, uh, in the fall. If you go to the community tab of YouTube, of my channel, there's a pre-sale list. So my friend Everything Eric and I are coming out with uh, a powdered organic version of my immune tea. And it's gonna be out just in time for fall, for cold and flu season. And uh, we're gonna do a very small run uh, but sign up. Overnight, 4,000 people signed up from Instagram and uh, the community tab. So check that out for sure. Allie is watching from the lower part of Alaska. It's Ooh. sunny and 70 degrees. Nice. Sounds amazing. And Roxanne. Roxanne <laughs> just gave you a $6.99 Canadian. Bobby, we don't have Thrive Market for Canada. I tried to sign up, but I did some research. Can you check out Switch Grocery and tell me if it's Bobby approved? Switch Grocery. Is that an online grocer? I don't know. It's called hmm. Switch Grocery. Okay. Well, let's check it out right now. This is the beauty of a live stream. Switch. Where is this? Switch Grocery. Where is this? Here we go. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Roxanne. Switch Grocery. So let's check it out. It's really all about what they carry, not the company itself. Switch Grocery, Paleo, Keto, and Diabetic Foods. Let's see here. Shop by brand. Shop by... Let's see... Electrolytes, flour mixes, baking, um, protein powder, snacks and treats. Hey, Sean Nambo. Uh, grass, oh, they have Peely Hunter fed, nuts. Those are very good. Grass-fed, ground meat. Is Bobby Spices, approved. sauces. I'm no, not I recognizing think... a lot of these. Uh, a lot of these uh, sauces here. Yeah, I, I don't recognize many of these uh, brands, to be honest. Yeah. I gotta do some more uh, research. Milwaukee Brewer just gave you $10. After I open a bottle of extra virgin olive oil and it's stored in a cool, dark place, uh -huh. will it still be good until the expiration date or will the opening shorten the bottle? No, of life? it's still good. But that's why you buy small bottles, not huge, huge bottles, unless you're gonna cook with it. Like the Costco extra virgin olive oil, I cook with that. Otherwise, I would never buy that just for dressings and for finishing. Yeah, FYI, Roxanne uh, Sandy has been looking at Natura Market for a Canadian option. So ah, good to know. Yeah, I always feel bad for my fans in Canada because you can't get the same stuff we do. If you do, it's twice the price. It's totally crazy. Throw some love for our Canadian friends, my gosh. Zara is in the house. Welcome, Zara. Yes. Okay, so we have to mix this up and then form shish. So I have my skewers here. I am going to cut Rose a Rose few Rose needs more. more berries. I know. I'm going to cut them before I get my hands all uh, schmutzy with the beef. It sounds like shampoo versus conditioner. Breathing Nerdum asks, which chef's knife is better, a German or Japanese style knife? 
Uh, that's too much of a blanket statement. It really is all about the manufacturer. I mean, I would say a top quality Japanese knife might be a little bit better, like a Shun, but it really is all it about comes preference. Out of preference yeah. yeah, it's all about preference. Okay, you know, I was gonna throw a little bit of almond flour in here, but do you think we need it? I don't necessarily need the mixture to be super loose and it might stick to the grill. Real time poll almond flour soaked in almond milk to loosen up the mixture or no? What do you think? I say no. I say no. <laughs> Adrian's going for the German one, of course. <laughs> I don't know how much the immune system uh, package is going to be. It's going to be a month supply. Uh, I don't know yet, but um, it'll be whatever it is. It'll be a good price. It'll be worth it. So no, no, no. Rachel's yes, the only one no. so far that wants on the Rachel, Rachel, nice. All right, we'll do it. No, Bobby, how long does the delivery for Seco wine normally take? I ordered two weeks ago. It's much longer in the summer, they told me, because shipping really slows down because of hot weather. So hang tight, um, and it will come. The keto wine is the bomb. No sugar added, no chemicals. I talk about wine at the grocery store in this weekend's um, summer grilling guide. I was at Whole Foods today for two and a half hours, Rose. You ate all those blueberries already? I was at Whole Foods for two and a half hours. She knows, because I came home and she was like, where are you? I did a video all about the best and worst foods for cholesterol and a summer grilling guide. And a lot, a lot of people don't realize that. All wines have added sugar to the fermentation process and they can use up to 75 chemicals. Bad, bad stuff. They don't have to tell you that because there's no nutritional or ingredient list. Get the keto wine. I put the link down below, the uh, tahini link. It's the best wine you'll ever try in your life. The rosé is awesome for summer. Sonali recommends you add an egg and Stangman agrees. An egg? Oh, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Check it out. Uh, My friend, the egg man, went to the farmer's market last weekend. These are locally sourced organic pasture-raised eggs. I prefer a farm in Illinois called Mint Creek, but they're always sold out. They have some of the best eggs because they're not only organic and pasture-raised, they're soy-free. These are still good, but take a look at the, the yolk. It's just not as vibrant as I'd want it to be. See that? Now, that's not always a bad sign per se, but I'm a sucker for looks. That's why I love that face. I love that face. Yes, I love it. Stacy Schuler asks if your summer grilling guide includes how to start a grill fire. <laughs> Should St I ban her for that comment? Stacy, you shut your Put yapper. Put her in a 300-second timeout. <laughs> That's right. You're getting as, banned from the channel. Report her as offensive. If you didn't hear, Stacy, I cleaned the grill today. I, it wasn't oily or, like, greasy. It was just full of soot. But all that soot flew all over me. I jumped right in the shower and everything like that, but... No, I will not include how to light your fire on grill twice in one week. No. There you go, Rose Honey. I can't keep up with you, Sweet Pea. Okay, let's mix this up. It was quite disgusting, though. ASMR experience here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> These are similar to the uh, kefta we made in that Costco video last weekend. So I was really happy to do the uh, cholesterol video. Because I've been wanting to do that for a while, a lot of the foods they tell you are bad for cholesterol aren't necessarily bad. And I really break it down from, from grains to beef to dairy, stuff like that. And then it was really fun to do the summer grilling guide because I talked about uh, lots of condiments. Oh, I can't give it to you right now, sweetie. My hands are schmutzy. I talked about condiments, um, spray cans of oil, beef, hot dogs, booze, wine, white claw, uh, beer. And I talked about a, a buns and stuff like that. So I don't want to overmix this mixture because it will get a little hard if you do that. Now I'll just take my mixture and I'll just put it on the skewer. I love these metal ones. They're awesome. All right. I, to be honest, I haven't done this probably in a couple of years, but you just want to try to get it somewhere in the middle here. How many blueberries is she eating? Uh, quite a few. There she is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's okay when Mama Desi's in the hizzo. Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Rose has a new trick. Rose, oh. Rose, where is your tongue? Oh, yeah. That's your tongue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool, Mom. <laughs> <Your tongue. laughs> so, Bobby, our friend Dirk Look, is asking, what are your thoughts on duck eggs? Um... I've never cooked with it, but yeah, they're really, really healthy if they're, uh, you know, obviously uh, not GMO fed. 
Um, and they're really, really fatty and rich. I think there's a ratio though. If you're going to use duck eggs, you don't use as many. All right, so I'll put that on to start. I got to make sure it doesn't fall off before I get it onto the grill. It would help if I, uh, if I <clears throat> uh, got these really chilled before I put them on the grill, but we don't have time for that. Jesse, hello from Glastonbury, UK. Arwen's. Arwen's in the house, my homie. PJ nice. Schneider wants some chicken recipes. We have so many chicken recipes. It's crazy, dude. But we haven't cooked too many on live stream. It's a great point. Is turkey a good alternative to beef? Yes, turkey would be great for this. Please use organic ground turkey thighs. Don't get the turkey breast meat. It's way too lean for this. Way too lean. I think this one might have too much on there. I gotta spread it out a little Crafty bit. Crafty Kitty would like to hear Rose say dada. <laughs> she says it all day long. Say dada. She doesn't really say it on demand. Say dada. Say mama. <laughs> Victoria Wickoff Vic. goes by Vic, but not Vicky. Five dollars. <laughs> Happy Fourth Holiday, everyone from a shutdown LA. Sad, but great to be hanging out with True. you all for a few. Yeah. Big hello to Rose and Desi. Too bad you guys can't go to those Thank beautiful you, beaches in LA. Thank you, Vic. Appreciate that. So yeah, it'd be great to form these and chill them. I don't have that luxury right now, but it's all good in the hood. We had some of this when we were in the Middle East too. Before we went to Israel <clears throat> in uh, August of 2018, uh, we went to Jordan and we uh, had the most amazing food in Aqaba. It's a port city uh, just across the uh, border from uh, southern Israel. And they had this lamb. They butchered the lamb in house and then grilled them. And it was the best lamb chops I've ever had in my life. Oh, we ordered so many of them and the price was right. It was phenomenal. I had such a great time in Jordan and Israel. And I learned a lot about tahini because in the old city of Jerusalem, you went to this uh, tiny factory that makes tahini. And the guy's been making it for his whole life. His father made it. And we saw him grind it fresh. And I learned a lot about it. I saw something called black tahini from black sesame seeds. It was very cool. And that's why I was really, really excited to find these guys, the Mighty uh, Sesame Co. Because it's made in Israel, but it's made with best in class uh, sesame seeds. And it's made right. It's not bitter. It's not unpleasant to eat. And it makes a great sauce. Stangman says to rub the skewer with oil first. Yeah. Oh, the skewer? Oh, interesting. And then Sherry Kennedy just gave you $1.99 said a little olive oil on your hands helps shape the kebabs. Yeah, I should have... Or, I should have put a, a little bit of uh, water, but to be honest, they're not sticking that much. And uh, Desi Richard Marcotte says he'd be happy to take all of your apple crisp rejects. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a reject. I might be having some of that later on while watching. Uh, should we have nothing to watch right now? We need new recommendations for shows. Yeah, well, it needs a scoop of ice cream, but in the cookbook, that would be a six Jackie ingredient. Jackie Gallagher wonders if you went to Petra while you were there. We did go to Petra. It was Desi's second time and my first time, and we had such... A great time there. And we spent a night in um, Wadi Ram Desert. Amazing. Totally amazing. Is Costco good enough to drive an hour to go there when I have a Sam's Club in my town? To be honest, yes. Sam's Club is really such a pale comparison to Costco. I really, really think it is. Now, Sam's Club's now, they do have grass-fed beef. They have uh, Vital Farms. Mama's making you some food, no? They have Vital Farms uh, pasture-raised eggs, but they don't have 80% of the kind of stuff that uh, Costco has. Okie dokie. So these are formed. And before I fire up the grill, I don't even have room to put them in the fridge, unfortunately. But they're just going to chill out here. If you actually let these sit for a few hours or ideally overnight, the flavors of the spices and the garlic would infuse in there even more. It'd be much better. But look at it. That's going to work grand, great, wonderful. Let's put this to the side. Can you turn um, the water on for my hands, please? Yeah. I was thinking we should actually do, instead of apple, uh -huh. apple crisp, peach. A peach crisp? Yeah, but apples are year-round. Peaches aren't. You know? Mm. What do you guys think would be better for the cookbook, an apple crisp or a peach crisp? Vote now. Polls close in one minute. Ooh, get I'm that. not happy that vote. What's that? I'm not going to tabulate that vote. Oh, they vote from home. It's impossible. <laughs> it's new voting from home, I hear. 
Ah, uh, see. Peach, peach, apple. Apple was like coming in hardcore. Apple, apple. Now it's more wow. peach. Wow. I see, a, I see a lot of peaches, both. I mean, I guess we could do peach and tell people to sub out apples if you want yeah. to, right? You're thinking that because they're more in season and they're more juicy, right? Juicy. Cheers. Rose is having coconut milk with squash and rutabaga. Ooh. Squash, rutabaga, coconut milk. Sounds great. I'm going to push these to the side. She wants to drink it. Want to drink it? Like a smoothie. Yeah, whatever she wants. Have you guys had a like I'm going to say it's a split. It's a split? Uh, I can't add them up. They're Fit. coming in too fast. Fitty, fitty. All right, maybe the, that's good feedback. Maybe we'll do both. But it's so easy to make an apple crisp or a peach crisp and then say, hey, use apples, use peaches, because it's essentially the same recipe. And to make it five ingredients, Desi's doing uh, organic oats and almond flour, the fruit, cinnamon, and what's the last thing? No, Stang Man said pear. Maple syrup. Pear nut. And uh, ghee is a, a pantry staple, and so is uh, salt. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's make a little quick version of tahini sauce. We made the green tahini sauce the other day. I'm just going to whisk one together now. And, oh, the, me... and then we'll make uh, a little bit of dairy-free yogurt sauce. Taking away your food. Drink. All right, so here's the deal. Check it out. Art. Some retailers or brands will have tahini that's thick. If you can, pull, if you can pour your tahini over and it's thick, it's going to be bitter. Your tahini has to be like that. See that? When it's runny and pourable, that means it's going to be premium quality and it won't be bitter. All tahini is going to have a little bit of a slightly nutty bitter flavor because it's made with roasted organic sesame seeds. But it shouldn't be unpleasant, bitter, and inferior quality one is. This one is made from Egyptian or Ethiopian uh, roasted sesame. It's really, really high quality. If you look right here, Art, right below the video, check these out on Amazon. You can also get it on a Walmart. But you can get two of these for 12 bucks. Probably one of the better tahinis I've had in my life. Um, I've seen it at Walmart too, but I would definitely check it out. Uh, down there is my uh, keto wine. People in my Amazon uh, Amazon uh, store for all my gear and all that good stuff. Yeah, peely nut soup. Layered superfood is coming out with peely nuts. That's going to be very, very soon. Peely nuts are the most underrated nut in the country. People need peely nuts in their life. Steve C. just gave you a $10 super chat. Hello from Minnesota. Looking forward to your next book. Thank you. Dropping on... Uh, December 1st, a lot of stuff happening this year, you guys. We got the cookbook, the Bobby approved app with the barcode scanner, the new Flav City Immune Tea, all right? Once again, the first run will be out in uh, probably September to get on the pre-sale list. Go to my community tab um, and sign it up. Maybe if Erica's watching, she could put the link there. Um, 4,000 people signed up overnight. Organic, non-GMO, MCT oil powder, turmeric, Black pepper, cayenne, ginger, uh, real honey powder, put it in water. The best thing you can get if you're not gonna make the fresh tea, which I always give you the recipe for free anyway. Elizabeth V asks a question. Hi Bobby, do you use Celtic Redman or another type of salt to salt pasta water since you have to use so much of it and it can be quite pricey? It's a great question. I usually, I have so much Celtic salt I use that, but you can use Himalayan pink salt if you want. Get the big one from Costco, the fine, and use that. That'd be the most economical. Okay, so, as simple as salt, pepper, tahini, a little bit of water goes in. Then I'm going to whisk it up. Uh, Sonali says, do you store it in the fridge after opening? Yes, you do. Assume the tahini. Now look, the other day I used a stick blender to blend it up. This time I'm just going to show you the easy whisking one. And you're like, oh, that looks good, but it's kind of thick. Well, yeah, because it's all fat in there. So you add a little more water at a time. And it's kind of like making an emulsion or like a mayonnaise. It just comes together, but it's still thick. It needs a surprising amount of water. And yeah, you can put other flavors in. You know what? Let's just put a little bit of turmeric in there for shites and giggles. Here we go. You can put a little bit of grated garlic. Let's put a little grated garlic in there too. I already have the garlic here in my dirty microplaner. Siddharth Kapoor used, is in Toronto, used to be in New Jersey and used to follow judiciously, but darn, most of the things aren't available here. Yeah, bro. I feel you. I want to visit Toronto and I want to bring with like a truckload of Bobby approved products. Now look at that. Who doesn't want that yummy little sauce there? But you have to check it for seasoning. Uh, we probably need some lemon too. 
Let me get some lemon. Rose, you got the appetite of a boss lady. You're a boss lady, Rose, honey bunny. Dang, girl. She didn't want any vegetables. Dang, girl. <laughs> she likes the soups. Squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. And then check it for seasoning. There's a good chance it's going to need a little more salt. And that's it. It's a lovely little condiment using just a great ingredient that a lot of Americans just don't know about, but they should. Look at that. Check it for saisoning. Look at the consistency of that art. You pour that over beef kebabs, over lamb chops like we did the other night. Amazing. I'm going to make a yogurt sauce too. So good. I'm telling you that complex flavor of the bitter and nutty More. sesame seed. It's where it's at. Furry it felines wants you to add some mint. More. For, um, I only have, oh, you know what? More. I have fresh mint, the wild mint that grows by the, uh, by the backyard. I'll get some of that. That's a great call. Furry feline, meow. Great call. Remind me to grab some when we go outside in a minute. You know what? I'm going to preheat the grill now. And then we'll make the dairy-free, do you want a cucumber tzatziki sauce, babe? Yes, there. Dairy-free cucumber tzatziki sauce, says boss lady. You're going to bring the access point out there? Yeah, I'm going to bring the access point out there. I'm going to hydrate. Grab the mint on the way back. Do you have any dill? I'm going to grab the mint. All right. Wow. I'm... Rose, write me a list. Get mint. Grab the access point. Drink wine. Preheat the grill. Cheers. Stick around for this. June Nakata just gave you $4.99. My husband said our kitchen is becoming a pseudo-flave city. Just received the microplane. <laughs> Just received what? Microplaner. Ah, nice. Microplaner is a must. Judy, first of all, thank you. Uh, June. June. I have five different micro... Can you see right there? I have five different colors there. Now she's going to get all of them. I don't mess around. <laughs> it's, it's my bouquet of flowers. I don't want flowers. I want microplaner. Mm. Rose, there's a question right now from Jackie. Jackie says, Rose, can you give me a kiss? Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. It's going to make the cookbook, right? Don't start swearing out there, Bobby. No, no swearing today. <laughs> For those of you who were watching the other night. Hey. I thought you wanted more. More? Is Rose learning Bulgarian? No, we're still working on sign language. Somebody was asking, do you, when you teach her, you know, where's her hair and belly button, do you teach her in both English and Bulgarian for that or not? No. No, okay. But I do say some things in Bulgarian. Uh, Dirk says, ask Desi, and I don't know how to read this. Uh, I'll take everything you make. <laughs> Dirk's hungry. <laughs> Am I right, Dirk? All right, so what questions? Like She'll take anything I Dorinda, Dorinda Aviles is a speech pathologist. She says, I love that you're teaching Rose baby science is a great precursor to language development. Yeah. So, Rose, would you like some more? All sorts of here. Here's some more. Desi, how much does Rose weigh? Uh, 22 pounds and 13 ounces. Okay. Does tahini have carbs or sugar in it? Well, let's check the label. Zero <laughs> grams of added sugars and zero natural sugars. It does have four grams of carbs, but if you back out the dietary fiber, you get three net carbs. There we go. Questions. All right, Rosie. I always think of Meet the Fockers when I see baby signing. <laughs> I gotta see that movie again. It's been a while. Oh, more Bulgarian text is coming in that I can't read. Viviana. This is probably gonna end up on an Instagram story of hers. This is in Russian. Oh, sorry. Do you read it? That's what it says. That's what that it says. That was in Russian. That okay. was in Russian. In Russian. <laughs> there we go. That was in Russian. In Russian. <laughs> Dirk, dessert-wise, huge sweet tooth guy. Desi, desserts look amazing. You're one lucky guy, Art. Yeah, I love uh, eating the, the trials, the trial and the final product. 
Art, any exciting plans for 4th of July? I'm going to grill up some hamburgers for the 4th of July, and I will be tuning in to the Coney Island hot dog eating contest, which is still going to be happening. Uh, it's not going to be at Coney Island in the normal place with people because they have to socially distance, but it's going to happen, and Joey Chestnut's mm. going to destroy the circuit. Smell that. Back to you, Bobby. The, Ooh, the wild roll, mint. Roll, roll. Smell this rose. Wild mint. Smell. <laughs> she sounds like green. See, the wild mint has so much more flavor than the stuff in the grocery store, and it's free. Hey! That's poison ivy, Bobby. <laughs> well done. Let's get up. Really, really lovely stuff. So I'll just chop some of this. Ooh, oh, I don't think Joey Chestnut's going to go over 80 hot dogs. His record is 74. I'm really hoping he can break it. Are they doing it? They're doing it. Where at? Hey! Uh, near Coney Island, but I think it might be indoors and not near like people, Aww. just the competitors and socially distanced. Why can't they do it at Coney Island but just shut down the people? I don't know. That's a bummer. Uh, ask Desi, how many languages can she speak? Desi? Me? You. Three. Three. English, Bulgarian, and Spanish. Jackie Haddam thinks he's going to go over 80 hot dogs. <laughs> I hope he does, but... I don't think he can. All right, what are you cooking for 4th of July, says Sid? Uh, I, I answered that. Oh, forget doing some... Rose's salmon. Oh, Rose, I'm going to throw that on the grill, too. Rose's oh, salmon. Doing some burgers. Well, just uh, like indirect heat. Barbara Joy. Indirect heat. I don't want to start the oven for that. Well, Art's going to be here tomorrow. We're going to do a 4th of July live stream. What should we make tomorrow, Rose? Huh? Oh, Rose, wait, there's another question coming in. Hold on. Who's it from? Question from... Uh, Daddy. <laughs> Seba. Rose... Where are your feet? Yeah! That's your feet, exactly! Bravo! What about your toes? <laughs> your toes. Ah! So preciosa. We got some lovely. Should I make all this? Let me show you how big it is. No, no, no. Save some? Yeah. Take a look. I got some what wild dessert. Salmon. What dessert? Yeah, I need an yeah, S. What? <laughs> what dessert recipes do you recommend for the fourth? Dessert recipes? A peach crisp. Like you're talking about, get some peaches, uh, make a crisp, be absolutely delicious. I'm also thinking like a, a flag shaped cake with blueberries and raspberries yeah. or something. Or yeah, strawberries that's, to do the cake. That's not my uh, my cup of tea. Like, Why do you go American? <laughs> no, I just don't like flag shaped cakes. Yeah, for sure. What about a tomato salad? <laughs> tomato salad? I'll just make a quick tomato salad for Desi. Wait, that was part of the whole thing, remember? What? When I had it on, on Sunday. Yes. I had a gyro. Oh. Tomato and, and red onions. Red onions. <laughs> Why, uh, are you from tomato? Jordan? Uh, red onions. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> Xochito Flores. $10. Super water. chat. Oh, okay. Thank you so much okay. for your generosity. Oh. Oh, it sounds like a Mexican oh, name there. Yeah, I, I don't. I like that name a lot. Right. Yeah, sounds good. I'll do it for you, Mama. Yeah. Get that out. Uh, open. Do me a favor, Mama. Open this uh, ching for me. So we won't put any cucumbers in the yogurt sauce, right? We'll make it with the salad. Is that correct? Uh, yogurt sauce. I'll just as well. As well. Yes, boss. I need some fuel for that. Okay. Cucumbers kind of going down. Oh, we better use it then, Mama. So let's take stock. Of what's going on? Kebabs are in the back. Done. My beautiful tahini sauce using the mighty sesame. Oh, I forgot to say. So if you go to my Instagram story right now, I'm doing a giveaway. Ten people will get about two bottles of tahini each. Go to Flay City on Instagram. Uh, and follow the instructions to enter for uh, some tahini. It's gonna be a really nice giveaway. It's very nice of them. <coughs> Let's make the dairy-free okay. yogurt sauce. Desi loves this. It's a new product that's very Bobby approved. Oh. Ah, she just hit her head. She okay? Aye. It's because the things are there. Let me see her head. Oh, she tried walking and hit her head? Oh, great. It's going to stunt her from walking now. Let me see her head. I think. We're okay. 
Ay, 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 ay. Well, she would have made it if I wasn't blocking the way with all the chairs I moved out of the way. Oh, poor girl. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, yeah, 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 show her outside. Okay, so this is a new product. Check it out, Art. It's a plant-based sour cream. These guys make a cashew-based yogurt that I really like. And look at the ingredients there. Very, very high quality. And I'll make my kind of Greek yogurt sauce out of that because it's very thick. It has a nice twang to it. And Art likes a twang. Twang. All right, we'll use that. Use the rest from this one. Really nice. Actually, so this is kind of funny because I made those uh, kefta for the video last Saturday for uh, for Costco, and then Desi made this kind of wrap out of it. The next day, she like she made a tortilla wrap, which we're gonna do with the Siete cashew flour tortillas. I need to take some more out of the freezer. Um, and then uh, she put the leftover kefta in there with that yogurt sauce or sour cream sauce and then a little tomato salad. It was beautiful. And we'll do the same thing tonight. Hence why it's paleo, hence why it's keto minus the wrap. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of peppy, a little shot of really good extra virgin olive oil. Actually, I'm running out of really good extra virgin olive oil. I've been using all my one from the olive oil club, so I'll use the Costco one. Uh, let's put a little bit of mint in here. Why not? I got it, right? Wash that mint. Ashes in the house now. Ashes here. So guys, if you're just joining, leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Uh, we're making grilled beef kebabs. We're making yogurt sauce, tahini sauce, uh, grilled vegetables. It's going to be the ultimate kind of like Middle Eastern, Mediterranean kebab platter that's pretty much keto minus the wraps. And then Desi wants a little bit of this cucumber, where she put it? There it is. A little bit of cukey. Wow. We've got a lot of Texans in the house. Texas in the house? Nice. Lots of Texans. They go big or go home in Texas, baby. Where's there a veggie Howdy. peeler? Where all the veggie peelers go that usually are here? Nice. Albany Park. <laughs> Rose sounds like she's doing better. Let me wash this one. Richmond. Yeah, they're like, where's that noise coming from? Everyone who walks by, Rose waves at. And it's so cute when you go for a walk with Rose and she pushes her stroller, she waves to everyone. It's the cutest thing ever. Laney Lee, $5. Hi, Flav fam. I'm currently making broccoli muffins. A quarter coconut flour calls for... Oh, it calls for a quarter coconut flour. Only have almond. What amount of almond flour do you think? Um, since coconut flour is much drier, I would probably double it, to be honest. That sounds like it's going to work for me. No, they don't have coconut flour, and the recipe calls for it. So they only have, yeah, they only have almond flour. So let's grate a little bit of the... Don't double it, or one and a half it. Desi the baker says one and a half it. A little bit of the cucumber goes in here. And look at that, you guys. That's gonna be a nice chunky sauce. We need to put some lemon juice in there. And we'll slather that along with the tahini over the uh, kebabers. Now we're talking, homes, right? Got to get that twang. Art's all yeah, about Laney the twang. Yeah, uh, they're saying don't double. Bobby saying what? One and a half. One and a half times. Yes, I've been, I've been overruled by the resident baker. So there we go. That's dairy-free, my friends. That's dairy-free. My tahini's dairy-free. All we got to do is take a little shtickle for seasoning. Mm, that's good. Super, super tangy. If mm. you're out of lemons, can you use vinegar? Yeah, I would use a little, a little shtickle, a little... A little splash of that vinegar would be great, grand, wonderful. These Meyer lemons. Ah, <laughs> no, that's out of season, homie. And then, obviously, for dinner tonight, 
Now for dessert, it wasn't good enough for the cookbook because it's not there yet, but that's used five ingredient. Apple crumble with organic oat and uh, almond flour topping. And organic uh, um, honey crisp apples. All right, we're gonna make it even better. Rachel Murray. Rachie, there's my girl. $35, love this recipe tonight. Great dinner for dinner tomorrow night with ground lamb instead of your pita bread. So looking forward to the weekend. Complete hot mess at the Q. 1,300 inmates infected. Damn. That's not good. San Quentin, that's harsh. Rachie, make it for dinner tomorrow night. Cheers. Happy Independence Day. We'll be live tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Mark your calendars. Uh, Cass Making Bennett. some steaks and some other stuff. Cass Bennett says, Bobby, please, you need a stylist, but we still love you so much. Please, a stylist? Please, please get a stylist. This All is caps. the nicest workout gear on the land. <laughs> this is actually from a company called Roan. They make the nicest uh, casual and workout clothes. I got a bunch of clothes from them and uh, really, really nice stuff. It's only for men. Stylist, that's why I don't leave the house. I leave the house to go to the grocery store and the gym whenever it opens again. So Desi wants a little cukey salad with red onions. That'll be great to go on the pita or the flatbread. It's gonna be, we're building massive flavor here, you guys. Do you ever squish the kebabs at intervals like they do at Middle Eastern restaurants? I don't know what that means, but I'm intrigued. Squish them? That's what it says, I hmm. just read them. Janae got items from Thrive. Thank you so much. Love to hear that. I think Vincent referring, or Vincent says your hair. Maybe that was the stylist part. My hair, oh, because I don't wear, I'm not wearing gel or anything. Yeah. I don't like putting gel in my hair, to be honest. Yeah. What is that? That Matrix pomade? Once in a while, I'll put it in there. A little bit of this. Let me get a red onion. I want to grill. Actually, the... Uh, Breathing Nerdum says that it's freaking me out. Bobby not wearing a shirt with some kind of food pun on it. <laughs> yeah, I just bought this at Whole Foods. Ew. I want my money back. As Garth, as Garth would say, ew. ew. That's nice. Come on. I want my money back. That's not cool. Now, oh, speaking of punny shirts, wow, there's so much new stuff happening. A, a second cookbook, <laughs> the Flav City Immune Tea, the Bobby approved app. And I'm partnering with a company called Flavor Gallery to make Flav City teas. We're working on a couple original slogans right now. We have, um, what's the one? Uh, low carb, high class with an avocado wearing a monocle. We have OM Ghee. That was Art's uh, doing. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? Oh, no. Art was rated Ghee. Rated Ghee. I thought of OM Ghee. Uh, Art thought of we are the champions. Champignons. Like we, yeah, we are the champions. Champignons. Yeah. Ah. Whatever. And uh, they're working on designs right now. So those, uh, if they work out well, uh, those will be available very soon. Uh, by the way, Milwaukee Brewer, going back to the hair thing, says no gel, use Brill Cream. <laughs> Brill Cream. A dab will do you hair, right? <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's put a little bit of onion in here. And then we'll dress it with a red wine vinegar, Didi salt and pepper and olive oil. Wash the knife. Why? That bad onion. That's what. Oh, oh. Didi Shoe says. Thank you. It's actually not a bad idea, Didi. Thank you. After I cut the onion. <laughs> bad onion. Mess you up. A little bit of salt. Unrefined Celtic sea salt, of course, available on my Amazon shop page, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. A little bit of peppy. A little bit of EVOO, and then a little bit of red vinegar. We'll let that marinate while we're outside grilling and chilling. Uh, red wine vinegar. A little wine. Get the keto rosé with my link down below. The rosé and the red are dynamite. Desi, do you know what an Otello cake is? What cake? Otello. Otello. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Okay, let's just Sounds mix. Sounds like Othello, but not. Okay, mix that up. Let's throw a little bit of parsley in here. And just because we got it, mint. I've got a surplus of mint. I'm exporting mint now on the mint. Oh, Who wants Danish, some mint sent your way? Cake. Danish, okay. Danish. Danish cake. Uh, do you need to refrigerate vinegar? I'd say Negatory. No. You do not. To be honest, I really only use two kinds of vinegars for cooking. I use rice, uh, rice wine vinegar for Asian stuff 
and red wine vinegar. And then I buy the cheaper uh, white vinegar for disinfecting my blueberries for the fresh berry hack. Uh, put a little bit of mint in there. Let's wash that. You guys have seen on uh, my videos and on Instagram when you get fresh berries, strawberries, blackberries, uh, boysenberries, raspberries, put them in uh, vinegar soaked water for five minutes to kill the bacteria on the outside and that extends their shelf life. Then drain them, rinse them, dry them, put them in the fridge. Okay, this is what Desi wanted. Very simple condiment, but th here's what I'm thinking, right? Grilled pita or flatbread, siete cashew tortillas. Uh, that beautiful kebab meat uh, topped with yogurt sauce, topped with the tahini, topped with a salad made of cucumbers and uh, red onions, right? Strong like bull. That's the kind of food you want to eat. Jackie, uh, Bobby doesn't really use balsamic vinegar, but the I brand, brand I like to get is over at Kirkland, the uh, Costco variety. Yeah, the Kirkland one's fine, absolutely. Just uh, never buy one that has added sugar to it. Jackie had them. Spiegel, 1999, a pair that just scored a soccer goal. Jackie. Oh. Okay, I'll come back here for a second because there's some exciting stuff happening. Go, Jackie. High five, you're the best. So very exciting. My kebabs are locked and loaded. They're ready to go on the grill. Now, look at this. We have our beautiful tahini sauce made with that mighty sesame tahini. We have our beautiful uh, cucumber and red onion. We have our beautiful apple crumble, and we have our lovely dairy-free tzatziki sauce. I mean, this is how we roll. This is the way we roll. What we about roll. The tomatoes. This is the oh, tomatoes. Do we have tomatoes? Oh, yeah, tomatoes. Art's on the ball. Well, uh, I was thinking that, and so was Sarah Morris. Thank. You. These are amazing. If you live in Illinois, this company called Mighty Vine. They make hydroponically grown indoor tomatoes year-round that are consistently fantastic. It's never going to be like those white hard tomatoes with no flavor. The, these small ones, they call, they call them Rubinos or something. They're delicious. Really, really tasty. So let's go, let's just cut all these. I'll eat some on the side. They're a little pricey, but they're worth it. Oh, Rose, what you do? The cops are coming. <clears throat> Rose Honey Bunny. Deborah L says they're not organic though, are they? Uh, they're not organic, and I, in this case, they don't have to be because they're grown hydroponically, and they don't use the nasty uh, chemicals that you uh, would normally get from traditional tomato farming. Yeah, Sonali, we got a thousand people in here right now. Way cool. Delicious. A thousand people in the house. If you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're making grilled kebabs, tahini sauce, vegetable sides. Uh, we're grilling red peppers and orange peppers. We're having a great time. Uh, we're giving the Amazon link for the tahini down below. We're doing the tahini giveaway on the Flav City Instagram, so go over there. We got the keto wine link down below. Uh, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. Got to figure out what we want to make tomorrow for 3rd of July. Probably some steaks, something all American, you know? Oh, this one bust open. I think I just busted it right now, actually. Very, very, very sweet. Nothing really angers me more than buying tomatoes with no flavor. I actually bought and I splurged on the organic heirloom, or as I like to say, heirloom tomatoes at Whole Foods last week. They were beautiful. They had zero flavor. I was so upset. Are those the, those the ones that look like tomacos? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Paper City Gamer Jeff just gave you $4.99. Purchases the monk fruit sugar. It's perfect for my coffee. And I'm making a quinoa salad with tomatoes, feta, and olives. Let Dude, Jeff, that sounds money balls. Good for you, though. Thank you. Now we're talking proper. Look at this. Now we're... Look at that beautiful salad. Let's throw some more tomatoes in there. Let's check it for seasoning. You want it to be a bit acidic because it has to cut through all the flavors of the grilled. And that is exactly what it is. Ooh, that mint. Ooh, Lord mercy, child. I got a little mint in there. That's good. That's good. So what else? I told you guys earlier, head over to the community tab of my channel inside up for the early bird waiting list for my new Flav City Immune Tea coming out uh, in the fall. It's going to be the powdered version of my... Uh, Famous immune system, immune system boosting turmeric tea. It's my first product I've ever developed and it has best in class organic ingredients with no maltodextrin, with real honey powder, no filler, all thriller. Ah, 
If you haven't heard about the cookbook, our five ingredient semi-homemade cookbook will be out on December 1st. Amazing easy recipes using the best ingredients and products at the grocery store. The Bobby approved app with a barcode scanner is in the works. You can scan any product at the grocery store with the barcode. It tells you if it's Bobby approved and why or why not, along with all the information from our videos on the device, on the app. So if you wanna search and learn about pasture raised eggs, bread, pasta, it's all there. What an exciting year. This is so, so cool, right? Okay, this is Danzakia. My, my grill must be scorching hot. Make sure it's not on fire. No, it's not. Okay, let's see what's going on. We gotta go outside. We got our kebabs. We gotta take some spray for the grill. Last one, last one. We, I'll come back in, but we gotta take uh, some tongs and, oh, Hold the door, hold the door. I got to uh, slice did, these peppers. You did put the AP out there, right? Yes, AP's all set up. I got to grill these peppers just to have them. Rose is salmon, Milwaukee Burger says. Oh, thank you. So much stuff. So much to say, so much to say. Does red wine vinegar need to be organic? Um, ideally, yes, because it comes from grapes, right? Rose, honey bunneth. What's the word, my girl? Cut out the membrane of the uh, peppers there. Organic. Insane in the membrane? I, insane in the brain. Sometimes these stickers don't come off very good. I, I don't understand why they make them like that. Then I got a waste of my pepper. I got to go like that. Rose. Are we a cranky anchor? What's going on there, honey? Daddy's about to go outside. Why don't we all go outside, go outside and you can set up the patio, we can grill. So yeah, this is a membrane here, Art. It's a little bitter, I think. So I just like to carefully guide my knife, right? Get the knife in and then carefully yeah. we can, uh, put cut away from your fingers like that. Okay. On your other shirt. Come. Oh gosh. Okay, peppers. Do you own any ceramic knives? I don't, but I probably get some for Rose when she gets a little bit older. Nisha sure. Garcia, three ninety nine. Bobby, what's the best in class breadcrumbs? It wouldn't be any actual breadcrumbs. It would be either panko breadcrumbs made from. I'm sorry, uh, pork panko breadcrumbs made from chicharrones. Rice breadcrumbs. They have puffed rice breadcrumbs at uh, Trader Joe's. If you can find an organic whole wheat breadcrumb. That'd be it. Otherwise, it's made from non-organic, glyphosate-lated, uh, enrich, enriched, bleached bread. You don't want that. Okay, let's see what's going on. Multiple trips here. So let me... When are you going to cook Rose's salmon? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook it at the same time as the meat in indirect heat. So I'm going to take that. I need the salt. Uh, I got the spray oil. Let me take this out. And then let's go to her. Let's go. go. Let's do it. The books, you got the let me bring my shoes. Yes. Let's do it, folks. Yeah, come out with Daddy. We're having a good time. What do you should cut over soon? Yeah, apologies, folks. We uh, should be back now. All right. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So, oh wow! Look, first of all, can we give a big applause to Bobby for cleaning this? There was so much soot and burnt material on here. I got it all off. So now we have a nice fire. There's no burnt bits on the bottom. Um, I'm going to turn these down Real a little bit. Real estate we have mesh Wi-Fi. Okay. So I'm gonna spray the grates with a little bit, but I'm also gonna spray these guys. So what I wanna do, spray those, get it up, right? And then put it down. My biggest fear in life the is, biggest. is these sticking to the grill. And I'm hoping they won't do that because I lubricated the grill and my hands are dirty. Maybe Art, can someone help Art pick up the spray bottle and lubricate the backside. Oh, it sounds very uh, dirty. Lubricate the backside of that. Perfect. Great. And then I want to keep the heat relatively low for this. I'm going to go wash my hands really quick, bring some more stuff out 
Art will talk to you. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Good day, everybody. Good to be here with you all. What kind of questions do you guys have? What's the temperature there in Chicago? Sonali wants to know. Apple Watch is telling me 84 degrees. Uh, I don't see a lot of clouds, but we do have humidity here. Don't know what the uh, feels like temperature is. Let's see what else. So I was talking about baseball. Baseball update. Um, can't call it spring training, but they're at Wrigley practicing for the season. What grade of maple syrup is best? Can you tell us what the difference is between the grades? Uh, I remember Alton Brown used to talk about that, and I think like grade A was probably the ones that everyone would think is the best, but I think something below that is a little darker, well, a little more ten. flavorful. I got the stuff from Costco. They had the uh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Let's see. Hey, Art. Art, you work <laughs> out? Yeah, I work out, Denny. And let's see what else. Oh, okay, okay. temperature in Celsius. Adrian, I'll get that for you. It's probably. Yeah, Google. All right, peppers. All right. Go on all right, here. See, Victoria. Finley's in the house. Finley Toons is the, in right, the house. Of all the things I've lost, I missed my mind the most. Out of the Osborne. <laughs> that what he said? Yes. That's hilarious. Under 30 Celsius. Thank you. Okay. Peppers are on. Let's season those on the grill. Make life easier. I am ready for the fourth Jackie Adams Spiegel. A little bit of salt. This is why I love cooking outside. You could just be so messy. It don't matter. And then I'll take roses, salmon. Tel Aviv in the house. Oh, Tel Aviv Welcome in the house. Nice. A little bit of salmon and salt for rose. A little bit of avocado or coconut oil spray. And then I'm just going to put it right here. It's going to cook oven style. Okay. Yeah, staying man, my bottle of that stuff's lasting a long time. I don't use it often. Bottle of what? Uh, the uh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. He's ah. Like, you still got it? I'm like, yeah, I don't use it. I know, he, hasn't, he barely ever uses it. I should just steal it. Um, so I clean the grill. Check out this art. My nasty slop bucket, or also known as the grease tray, is empty. I poured a lot of it in there, so that's pretty much toxic waste right there. I don't want that. And uh, yeah, there's no more fire in the grill. Things look good in the hood. So I could technically, if I wanted to, just close this for a little bit. Let's open up the patio here. Have some dinner al fresco. It's nice to do these streams outside, right? Indeed. Do a little bit of cooking inside. Because here's the deal. If you made this inside and you oven baked them, they're not going to get the same kind of flavor. If you cooked them on a hot cast iron pan, it'd be great, but it's messy. It's going to splatter oil everywhere. You know, it's going to smoke up the house. Like you don't want that. Come outside, fire up the old grill. So let's think what else we have to do here. Uh, oh, got to go into the, uh, let's see what's in Bobby's uh, freezer. I think one of the best purchases I made this year, this happened before Corona, is getting this, uh, this seven cubic foot freezer from Costco. It come in, comes in real handy, especially because I was just running out of space for everything. But look, I want to get some more tortillas out, all right? Siete, I keep them in the freezer. Almond flour tortillas, but these are the best. The cashew flour tortillas taste just like flour tortillas, real flour tortillas, and have that same kind of texture. They don't fall apart. Almond's a second close. A close second. Jennifer Drew watching in Thunder Bay. And Great then place. I'm literally times. down to my last Thrive Market pork chops because they've been sold out for a long time. I got this pasture-raised sausage at a place in Chicago called Local Foods, but I don't like it. It's very leathery and uh, too sweet from the brown sugar. Check this out. I have pasture-raised chicken feet. These chicken feet are so sturdy and strong, and you put them in your bone broth. It's fantastic. What else do I have in here? I have some beautiful Tasmanian grass-fed fillets from that uh, shepherd meat, the same meat we're using tonight from the, uh, the ground hamburger meat. And then the only problem with a uh, freezer like this is everything is buried on each other. So there is other good stuff in here. Got a ton.
ton of bones for making bone broth in there. Bobby, we just got a super chat from Paper City Gamer Jeff, 499. Always wanted to know, are you guys best friends or just work together? Both. Option A, option a and B. <laughs> Go back a long, long time. time. Look at this. I have beef, grass fed beef bacon. I've never made this. Anyone have beef bacon before? Crazy. They don't have any pork at uh, this company because uh, they're owned by uh, Muslims who don't eat uh, pork. It's all halal. I, it's all halal. I want to try that. So that sounds really, really good. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Hopefully nothing's on fire. Oh, no fire! Hey, hey. Oh, here's some of the leftover soot from my cleaning. Look at nice. this. So we're doing good in the hood here. What happened down here, soot? Yeah, so I, this, I probably should have taken this downstairs to the concrete, but yeah, that's all grease. Now, Art, to show you guys where the mint is, zoom in right there. That's just wild mint that's always grown. I've lived here for 10 years. I think it's been here before I got here. That's where I get my mint from. It used to be more, um, but it's just beautiful stuff. And then, actually, you know what? This neighbor over here behind us, he says I can uh, grab any herbs from his garden. I think it might be nice to put some rosemary on this. So I'm gonna run over there real quick. He has the most amazing herb garden. I'm just gonna grab some rosemary and then, uh, We'll kind of baste the, uh, the beef kebabs with that. It's nice to have neighbors that grow a lot of like herbs and stuff. And they say you can grab this. Hey, what's up? Pino, how's it going? Do you have any rosemary here? Oh, there we go. Hey, Pino. I'm going to grab some rosemary, Pino, if you don't mind. And we're here at the 13th hole in the Masters. Let's grab some rosemary, Pino. Across the way. Hmm? You don't mind it's if I grab some the rosemary? Carefully. There's a dog that... No, don't go through the gate, dog. Okay, I'll stop the whole golf thing. Perfect. I feel like I need to be... All, there we go. Uh, Thank you, Pino. Hush, hush as I talk as he's like strolling Thank you, Pino. Appreciate it. Pino the dog. So, Thank you, Pino. Hmm, fresh rosemary. Amazing stuff. And look, the other neighbors here are growing some Thai purple basil and some green basil there. Really nice stuff. But yeah, that's all I need, a little bit of fresh rosy. I can actually throw that on the grill. Oh, beautiful stuff here. I have nice. not seen the Mabel and Olive videos, June. I guess I'll have to check that out. So when, I, when it's time to flip these, I'm wondering if I got to get a... Uh... Oh, wow, look at this, Art! They're releasing really easily. Flip it real good. Wow, I don't know if they're quite ready yet, but because I cleaned the grill, they're releasing easily. Oh, wow, you guys are ready for something pretty darn sexy? Let's see if I can do this on one flip. Oh, come on. My hard work this afternoon, getting all schmutzy paid off. Oh, these are gorgeous kebabertons. Dang, Rose is gonna crush this. Wow, look at those beautiful kebabs. The grill's so hot. Oh, Art, I think what you said is happening because I cleaned it. It got hotter. I think a little hotter. Not Another a Festivus miracle. Another miracle, wow. Very exciting. Oh, look at, the, look at the beautiful peppers here, Art. Look at that. Look at the color on that. By the way, folks, you know, always you always hear companies doing a Christmas in July sale. I said there should be a Festivus in July sale. <laughs> Let's see how roses. I should have sprayed the grill grates for roses. Uh, that's okay. Salmon. That's cooking nice. I'm going to move it to the cooler side over here. Wow. High five. Oh, here's what I want to do. Take the rosemary while it's cooking here now and just put it just like that. Where'd rose honey go? And Same just, tongs? Uh, it's okay to flip it now, but now I'm going to get clean ones. It's still cooking over some vigorous heat there. Now I'm going to go in. There's Rose Hunneth Bunneth. Hi. Shimmy. Are <laughs> oh, you doing your shimmy? <laughs> Little dance, Rose Hun Bun? There you go. All right. Switch. Look at that tuchus. Look at that tuchus. All 
right, so what questions do y'all have for me, Rose or Desi? What are all the knobs on the grill for? They're to make it go hotter. Got a lot of burners in that grill. Art, can you grow cannabis in Illinois? I don't think you can. Well, a regular person can. I don't know if they, they cannabis is legal here recreationally, but I don't know if they grow it here, if they have to grow it elsewhere. Do I golf? No, I'm a terrible golfer. I have golfed, but I'm bad. Desi, have you seen Yellowstone? No. Okay. Apparently, you have to watch it. Those are the nuke buttons. You mean the movie or the actual site? I, I got the feeling it's some program, but please opine and clarify if I'm wrong on that. I'd love to go to Yellowstone National Park. I have not been there. I think I've only been to one national park. I've been to uh, Grand Canyon. Desi, where do you buy your tops? Loft. Where? Loft. The loft. For whoever just asked that. Capricorn's back in the house here. Okay. I just want to make sure we don't overcook that uh, beef. So how do we know it's done? I can just take its temperature. So I brought my probe thermometer here. Obviously great for steaks and stuff like that, but Michael P. Bobby's email is bobby at flavecity.com, bobby at flavecity.com. Let's also just move this. Ed, no, that's a tough question. They're all good. These kebabs honestly look better. Babe, do you see the color on these? No. Check these out. They're absolutely gorgeous. Sonali, I don't watch a ton of soccer, but I do watch some of it. So look, I just stick it in. I'm looking for 155-ish as a final temperature. Hmm, good thing I did that. We're not there yet. Actually, you know what? This is beautiful meat. I'm probably going to pull it before that, but not that early. That's a little too rare. Let's see the smaller one here. Oh, something has dripped in my hand. Yeah, the water upstairs. See, the smaller one's almost there. So not, we probably like this is a grass-fed ground beef from yep. Shepherd Meats. So this is why. Also, I can use this for the uh, salmon. Even though you suck. Actually, probably not, yeah. And I got to go back in and wash this again. For me, I would do it. For Rose, I won't. BRB. But this is why you want to have this kind of stuff on the Amazon you, shop you, page. You'd basically be blade tenderizing the sandwich. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> exactly. It's Costco style. Well, happy girl. Glad you could uh, finally catch us live. We're enjoying being here in north side of Chicago on a beautiful day. Grilling. It's going to be chilling out here. Yeah, cross-contamination is a no-no, so you don't want to do that. Do not do that. Uh, let's see. 30 seconds of Mars. The kebabs do look delish, so uh, can't wait to eat them. What's the temperature here? It's 84 Fahrenheit. Um, somebody said the Celsius translation earlier. I forgot what it is. I don't have my cell phone on me to tell. Okay, let's check the temperature of roses. For roses, I'll pull it at probably 135-ish. It could be there already. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this grill is much hotter all of a sudden. 29 Celsius. Thank you, Milwaukee Brewer. Yep, 138. So roses is done. And that goes on a clean. I'm trying yep. to think what was Breathing it. Breathing I was telling somebody else who asked that question. It's a tough call. They're all really good. I don't know if I have one. So favorite. roses goes there. Peppers come off. Jackie had him speak. Rumor has it, Gemini. Rumor has it. Uh, uh. Okay, these come off. Once they come off, we'll just lubricate them with a little bit more spray. Basically hot weather. Yeah, what's the tem temperature in Deutschland right now? Well, where you are in Deutschland, Adrian. You're in, f ooh, are you Frankfurt, if I remember? No, no, you're in Nuremberg, right? I don't think I pronounced it right, but that's what I remember, so. Okay, let's see what's going what on here. What is it where you live? Hey, Rose. 
Ozzy? Yeah, we're pretty much there. So the small kebab is done. It's 155 ish. Look at this. Oh, I was close on both accounts. Look at that art. That's just gorgeous. Totally beautiful. All right. Let's check the other. So handy to have this kind of stuff, you guys. I use it literally on a weekly basis multiple times. So 150 and climbing on that. I want to make sure you don't touch the skewer inside. That's important. 145 and climbing on that. And the last one. After that, somebody wanted a close-up right. of the salmon. Ah. One. So this, the back one's pretty much done. Very handy. 1,200 well, people watching right now. 1,200? Nice. 1, welcome. 1,100. 1, welcome. Welcome. A few more minutes on this. Once again, all my gear... Late last year, I built an Amazon shop page with everything. So amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. It's in the description box below the uh, tahini promo code and the keto wine promo code. You want stuff like this because it really comes in handy from probe thermometers to the tongs I use, to the chopping blocks I use, to the knives I use, to the zesters and oil dispensers. All that stuff is really great. Laney Lee, $2. Muffins came out great. Desi was spot on. Ah, love to hear that. Oh, I wanted to uh, warm the tortillas up too. These are still frozen. I'm gonna turn the heat way down on that. I'm gonna go in and grab a few more things. Okay. We'll talk amongst ourselves. You'll, you'll give me a topic. Excuse me. Bobby, what was the tool called you use for pounding the ground beef for your tacos? Um, I think you're probably referring to the meatinator. If you look on uh, his Amazon shop page, there's like a uh, propeller looking device made by OXO. And we, the slang that we call it is a Meatinator 5000 or something like that. Probably has a less exciting name. Venice, Florida watching the Meat Chopper. Desi, has Rose found her nose? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Is that Milwaukee Brewer who asked that? Yeah, Milwaukee Brewer. Art, have you been to Denmark? I have been to the airport in Copenhagen. That's the extent. Uh, it's a connection. I would love to go there, though. Art. Oh, nice. What's going on? Oh, thank you, Rose. Stone is a series. Okay. Oh, so sweet of you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So Yellowstone is a series. It's on the uh, Paramount Network. What is? A show called Yellow Yellowstone. What's that about? I don't know, but it's got Kevin Costner. Real estate incredible. Oh. Nine ninety nine. My wife. Look at that. Real estate incredible. My wife Crystal loves Bobby. Can't wait for the app. Oh, dude, this app's gonna be epic. A lot, a lot of work. It's gonna go into that, but it's gonna be epic. Oh, I do know Yellowstone. It's about real estate or something with a big cast. Okay. You gotta clean the grill while it's hot. It's a must. I don't like how that stuff is sticking to the heating element, but it's okay. Turn the sucker off. And then we'll build a plate. I gotta bring a cutting board out here maybe. And... <laughs> okay, check this out, Rose. Come over yonder. Look at this, Rose, honey bunny. Uh, Evelyn Guzman, Ooh. I bring a bottle of water with Don't me. Don't touch it. Don't touch it, my love. 16.9 ounces. All right, go take a seat, Half Arthur. A All right. Oh, that cheap. This is exciting. Do we want to bring that little light stand out here or not? <laughs> nah. Okay. We'll just do an initial test. Zachy, Don. We got a knife oh, and a cutting. You are in for a treat. You are in for a treat. Lots of food tonight. Lots of food. Rose, where's your nose, Mom? Nose. Yeah. Where are your hands? Here, clap, clap with the hands. Clap, clap. What else do we do with the hands? What else do we do with the hands? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. You peekaboo. All right. 
Yeah, Real Estate Incredible Family Matters is a great show. Urkel. I should pop him. I should pop him. Chappy Daddy Daddy's coming. Mm, can't wait. Can't wait. He's enjoying the yogurt sauce. Very nice, right, Mama? It tastes like um, that, that Indian yogurt sauce. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> if anybody knows the Raita? Name. <laughs> I'm watching the computer in the kitchen. It's just Rose dancing and eating. Yeah, is that good, Rose? Somebody is it good? Somebody said, don't forget the wine. Ah, yes. Dance, dance, I got to get more wine. I'm going to go around Rose and build a plate. Dance party, Mamo. Yeah. Okay. This is how Daddy would do it, Rose. So. Daddy's going to get everything here. Stick spoon. I'm doing a squat here. Yes, me love. So, what I would do, Rose Honey Bunny. Look, 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 look. Check it out, Rose. This is what we do. All right? We watch and we eat. So, here's what I would do, Rose. I would take my tortilla. This is the paleo cashew flour one. Put a little schmutz on the bottom there, right? We'll take our shishi. We'll take it off. Look at look at that rose. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. We'll just cut it up. Oh, packed with the turmeric and the sumac and all that good stuff. Should have brought some extra sumac out here. We'll put that down yonder. We'll take the parsley and the mint, build that on top. Then Rose is going straight for the tortilla. <laughs> That's not the best part, Rose, trust me. We'll take the salad here. Wow, this looks amazing. Then we'll take the tahini with the Mighty oh Sesame God. Coat tahini. Drizzle that over there. Oh my goodness. I mean, and then, wow, hold on, man. we don't stop there. We take a little bit oh, of wow. the peppers. You could put it on or on the side. Totally up to you. Hey, Rose the place's not ready, ready yet, sister. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put it there, put it on the side, we'll put it on top. And then a little extra, that's it, a little extra parsley. Rose, I want you to try this. Try this beef and tell me what you think. Hmm? Dancing? Is that yummy, Rose? <laughs> is that good, a little shimmy? Oh, let's try this. <laughs> let's try it, see what the fuss is all about these days. Take the knife away from Rose, they're mm. saying. Lights out. The amount of flavor in here, next level. That's a tri bite. Next level sabor. It is crazy. Everything is cooked perfectly. More importantly, everything is seasoned perfectly. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Dirty. Wow. <laughs> Very That was great. They're not coming right. for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Flavor on flavor on flavor. Exactly what you want. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to build these up while they're still hot. Um, check out the tahini on Amazon. We made the sauce out of it. It's right below in the description box, along with the keto wine and all that stuff. Man, oh man, we crushed today like a boss. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Arco Selfie style. We'll do a little 4th of July grilling and chilling. We'll make some steaks and all that good stuff. But man, this is what good food is all about. Good family, good friends. It's the kind of food and kind of people you want to hang out with. So that is it, you guys. Uh, for Art, for Desi, for Rose Honey, for Daddy, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Are people See, asking who won? Who won what? Contest. Oh, it's going to be uh, tomorrow. Okay. Go to Flav City Instagram. Still enter on my story for uh, the winner. Ten winners of Tahini coming at you. Say goodbye, Rose. Bye. Bye, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Love and life.